Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to edit YouTube channel settings. Now, this is the general settings, the channel settings themselves on YouTube. I want to show you how to do that in this video. But before we get going, hit the like on the video. It really helps out our channel. Hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. We put one out a week. It comes out every Thursday. I think I've pretty much been 99% on target on that. So please uh, make sure you check back every week. Um, so let's get started. Uh, on this so how to edit your YouTube channel settings so let's go to our YouTube channel so you want to do is go to YouTube log into your account that the YouTube channel is attached to so whatever Gmail account YouTube channel account you have set up if, if you don't know where that is you just go up to the top right here and you click on this and you can switch accounts if you have more than one channel or if you're already on the right channel you can go right to the YouTube studio and that's where we want to go so just go up here so once you're on your the right account just go up to this nice little profile image right here and then go down here and if you're on the right one this is Dave's computer test makes sense we go to YouTube studio click on that once you're on the YouTube studios you're gonna want to go to the left menu and we're gonna scroll actually you don't even need to scroll down you just need to go to settings pretty straightforward settings are here to the left bottom little gear icon okay now here's the settings now we want channel settings this is the main channel settings to me so this is one I want to go over obviously general is what currency you like to use but we're going to go with channel settings this is what this is so you get three different tabs you get basic info advanced settings featured eligibility um, we're going to go start with basic info and uh, you can change your country here so if you're in a different country you can change it i mean in the united states so we're going to leave it at that but this is where you change the country of residence so if you move to a new country and you're doing youtube still and you want to switch it you can do that right here so I'm going to keep it on United States. And then you're going to do right down here. It says enter comma separated values. This is for keywords for your channel. So if people are searching on like Google or a search engine, this helps um, them find you quicker. So we have computer help, tutorial, how to tips, stuff like that. So well, I, I probably should add some more since that's probably not enough. But this shows you what you can where you can add those right here. So you can do it up to 500 characters. And that's what you can do right here. So that's how you do the basic info of this. Now let's go to advanced settings. This is a little different. Go into advanced settings. So your audience, you can actually do that right here. So you have simplify your workflow by selecting a channel setting. If you skip this question, you'll be required to identify each. So this is stuff you can have set. So every time you do your, um, you do your, vi your, your, um, like a video, it has, this is like default settings you can set. So do you want to set your channel? as a made for kids well I don't so I leave it as no set this channel as not made for kids so it's automatically chosen when you actually put a new video up I like that I want to review this setting every video so you can click click on that you just click this little circle next to it to select it yes yeah, is a channel for kids so you just select that um, so I have it selected this way because ours is just standard for normal everyday people not just children so I keep it as no set this channel as not made for kids so that's how you do that part. So that's the first part. So if you scroll down now, this is also where you can link your Google Ads account. So if you're looking for the spot on your YouTube channel, how to link your Google Ad account, this is where you would do it. So you link your YouTube channel to a Google Ads account to let the linked Google Ads account run ads based on the interaction with your channels, videos, etc. Da, da, da. So that's where that is. You can do that if you want to mess with that. We're not doing that in this video, but at least you know where it is. Automatic captions. Now, if you want to automatically add captions to your videos, you can do that right here. Um, I think it's like don't show potentially inappropriate words. That's what it's made for. So your automatic captions, you can click this so it keeps um, inappropriate words showing up in the caption of your video. So I have that off. I'm not I don't really have any problems with that. <laughs> so we're not going to worry about it. Now, if you skip down to here, you have subscriber count. So this shows subscriber count. Now, subscriber count. Um, so this is kind of interesting. So it, I didn't know this before I went in here that uh, display the number of people subscribed to my channel. You can actually uncheck that. Uh, this setting will be going away soon. Ah, look, they gave me a warning. I did not read that last time I did this. I did an um, article on this, which I have a link down below so you can go check it out. Um, but yeah, this that's something new. So you can learn more about this here, but this gives you an idea. If this goes away, fine. I think they're going to make you required to show your count. I um, think that's what's going to happen. But right now you can actually uncheck and it won't show you the subscriber account. Um, so right here, advertisements disable disable 
interest-based ads. So if you select this option, personalized ads will not be shown on videos on your channel, such as ads based on viewers' inter interests or remarketing ads. This may significantly reduce your channel's venues. Um, oh, revenue, sorry, venue. Where I get venue, I have no idea. Revenue. In addition, earned action reports and remarketing lists will stop working for your channel. I leave this off because we do advertising on ours. Um, uh, we got to pay the bills, so that's <laughs> we leave that unchecked. Okay, the, the last thing here, or actually a couple things here. Um, clips allow viewers to clip my content. So that basically, when you're on a video, you'll notice that it has a little, little tiny um, scissors, so you can clip pieces of the video out. We allow that. I'm not too worried about that, so I leave that on, so that's pretty cool. If you deselect the option, viewers will not be able to clip your content. And existing clips of your content will be disabled. So that's nice to know that you can actually turn that feature on off if you want. You can do it right here. Other settings, they have manage YouTube account and remove YouTube account, um, remove YouTube content. Now make sure it's not the account being removed if you do this. You're removing the content of your account. I don't mess with this, so um, you at least you know where it is. I'm not going to go into this because this is something that um, really does affect your account. So you don't want to really mess with it. Everything affects your account, but this is kind of stuff I don't want to touch base on right here in this video. So the last thing, so once you know what that, you checked all your boxes. And we go to Feature Eligibility. Well, this is a little different. This is see how to gain access to the features you're, you're interested in below. So default, upload videos, create playlists, add collaborators, and new videos to play. That's enabled on us because we were eligible. This one features that require phone verification. So if we wanted videos over 15 minutes long, custom thumbnails, live streaming, da da da, am I eligible? So if you click this, this tells you how. So if you click the little arrow next to it, it gives you a list of what you need to do to be eligible. So default features enabled, blah blah blah. So verify. If I verify this, I can get us enabled on this so that's a place that lets you get some of the extra features for your channel and it's in here it's pretty simple to find that i mean once you find this is you just kind of go through read what you want to figure out it does give you an idea where everything's hiding like here we are eligible as you can see channel is free of active community so we haven't we haven't violated any community guidelines so that's good so I'm, i make sure of that i work hard on that so that's how you do it that's so basically that's how you manage your um youtube channel um, settings. So this is the channel settings, which is right here on this tab is what I wanted to go over. And that's what we did. So you have the advanced settings and the basic info settings. So I hope that made sense. Um, mess around with it a little bit so you kind of get an idea. But the more you do for your channel, you want to grow it as big as you can. So that's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait. Almost said something wrong. Make sure you hit save at the end. There. Now we're done. <laughs> Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.